Carlos Contra Legazpi for ESPN with the welterweight uh, contender Ian Gary. Ian, well, tell me uh, about being here in, in Brazil. I see you're like, uh, you have a lot of friends. Yeah. You're, you're not speaking a lot of Portuguese. Are sí. you enjoying this fight at 301? I, I, look, I, firstly, I love Rio. I flew in today, and the minute you fly in, you just, you feel this energy. You see Cristo and just everything changes. It's, it's super special. There's an energy in Brazil that is just different to the rest of the world from where I've traveled. And it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to see it and enjoy it and soak it in. And hopefully we see it all come out in the fight tonight. Uh, I've been spoken, speaking to Diego Lima and Charles Oliveira about you being a part of the team and that they, they seem to enjoy having you there. And you seem to be in, uh, also like have a new family there. How, how sí. has been training in Sao Paulo with Diego Lima and the team? I love them. They're my family. They're people that have so much care and so much love that they're they're going to be my teammates, my family forever. And I'm excited. I'm excited for the journey with them by my side. Well, obviously, what people want to know: Are you getting a fight for UFC 303? What's happening there? Look, Kobe needs to stop running. That's the truth. I feel like Kobe's running. He doesn't want to say yes, and he's going to make any excuse he possibly can. That's the truth. Uh, he's been he's been a lot of uh, coming and going in, in social media, but have you actually have an offer? You have you actually have, have a contract from the UFC to fight there against Kobe? Yes, there's been offers. He hasn't said yes. All we're waiting on is Kobe to say yes, and that's it. Then everything here finalized. But I fully believe that Kobe is going to run, and he's not going to fight this fight. I feel like he's going to take every opportunity he can to run away from me. You want to fight in that part, card in particular? Because obviously, being Connor being there, the fans want to see you there. It makes so much sense that me and Connor get to do it on the same show. I've been messaging him and talking about it. It just makes a lot of sense. You know, it's there's for me, I would love to main and co-main it together because it'd be the first time in Irish history that we've had two Irish fighters main and co-main of a of a pay-per-view event. And to do that for Ireland, but also for European MMA, Irish MMA. For everything that we've done, we've worked on, it would prove that we really had the takeover part two has happened. And he did it once and now we're doing it again. It would be incredible for our nation. Can you think uh, of uh, another name if Kobe doesn't get to sign? He, he doesn't uh, uh, go, go the way that you want for this fight? No, he's the only one I want. Anyone else and I won't be happy. No. If that doesn't happen, <laughs> any other fight you're interested in, another date, any other Ex time? Look, I want to fight at least two more times this year. I don't want to stay. I don't want to stay inactive. I want to be active. I'm always active. I've had last year. I had four fights in eight months. This year, I'm, I have one. I want to get two or three more in this year if I can. I'm just excited to see what the potential ahead of me lies. Is there's a lot of amazing talent ahead of me in Shavkat, Jack Delamada, Lena. There's amazing fighters out there, and I'm just excited to test my skills against them and show them that I'm the best in the world. Do you have a deadline? to get a fight for 303? No, it could be signed the day before if they want to. I'm ready, I'm gonna be preparing for that day. All right, well, Ian, enjoy the fight. Obviously, people want to see you there. Let's wait for the news. I appreciate it, thank you so much, I'm excited. <laughs>